Hi everyone, Lord Crew here and welcome to my channel. So good news, we will have another meta deck for this Mortal Judgment set expansion. So without further guys, uh, let's proceed. So as you can see, we will have another variation of Agridet. And if you already watched the Yogmoth uh, Anubian Control, this is another variation of a uh, 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 Anubian Control. But instead of like using Demogorgon or uh, Apocalypse for a late game board control, uh, Masterclass created uh, like a, a little bit uh, uh, like a, a low cost, like an Anubian Agro, but uh, using a Siren of the Grave. Uh, for a sleep control not can be played only on the late game but also for like an early round and uh, the play style is like almost similar with the other uh, with other Anubian it's like control the board and then deals damage as much as possible using the the variation of the Anubian like Prince, uh, Priestess of Takat and the uh, Raving Necromancer and other Anubian death and as you can see uh, this is his variation and this is literally created by Masterclass and if you notice this is like uh, I believe the second most popular now on day one uh, Kati Pepe uh, ma made a, a variation of those uh, new uh, Demogorgon and uh, uh, Apocalypse uh, Anubian uh, control variation where it's been popularized uh, and been edited and been uh, popularized by Yagmoth who managed to get 25 artillery. Masterclass on day one on the weekend rank, he managed to get 21 out of 25 also, similar with Kathy Pepe. But in this variation, it's more on like a card draw, a lot of um, additional card draw mechanics and a added a signing of the grave for uh, sleep, uh, early board, uh, sleep uh, control, not only for early board, uh, but also for a little bit late game until you're, you win uh, using the land of the dead. Uh, and as you can see, uh, at first, on the day one, this is like more popular than the Yogmoth, but Yogmoth on day three, he managed to get a, a perfect score and that's why now. So if we compare that one regarding for the overall play, uh, if you notice, uh, this version has been played 663 and he has a 71% win rate. And if we compare this one to Yogmoth, uh, the updated version, and it's been like a 950 pl played uh, uh, 300 more with a 74 so both are likely to be uh, like a played heavily with a good result but the only difference this is much more cheaper as you can see 0 0.07 where Yogmoth has 0 0.7 because uh, this uh, masterclass variation they using the signing of the grave uh, for the uh, er, uh, for the sleep control where the other one are more on like ramp and apocalypse uh, like a board control on for the end game so that's like so let's discuss like how to play this one <coughs> so as you can see uh i created a geo deck uh you can see this one on the description and the mulligan for this one are very simple almost same uh you go for the blight bomb feral serum borrowing scarab for card draw and ragnarok ragnarok are also good especially for aggro that especially in turn one turn two and turn three if your opponent flooded the board, you can like uh, uh, do a Ragnarok for early AOE. AOE that uh, it will burn, everyone will die on the opponent's end of turn. <coughs> As usual, there's still like the combo for you to win, like the pieces Takat, Ferrous Heirloom, like the similar that I mentioned on the Yogmoth's version. Uh, uh, this is like literally your win condition. You're winning not by just attacking your opponent. By literally every time you're Anubian dying uh, during the trade, a uh, board control trade, uh, you manage like to deal your opponent damage. Uh, it depends. So if Takak deals two, uh, Raving Necromancer uh, to steal one life. And uh, sometimes if I want to, like for example, my opponent is so uh, aggro heavily, I rather prefer to have like Raving Necromancer because it heals me back every time one of my uh, <coughs> Anubian death. Nubian Future dies, and that's include the Vile Reaver or Wretched Vanguard that can be seen also from the uh, Pharaoh's Hill Room. Overall, at the uh, uh, overall, if you want to uh, do a lethal damage, you will rely on Land of the Dead, where you can have like a multiple variation, like uh, Dual Priestess, uh, Priestess, 
raving or like a dual raving and then a bunch of couples of uh, Vile Weaver or Wretched Vanguard depending on like either to do a board control <coughs> or like stay a lot of like a guard uh, like a frontliner like Wretched where will steal one health for your opponent. Now for the sleep combo uh, sleep control combo here uh, using the Siren of the Grave uh, you can like use us uh, either Siren of the Grave, Ragnarok, Siren of the Grave, Fleshbind Siren of the Grave and then Cold Grids. Literally, uh, you have like an option like to do sleep and uh, a draw or a, a, a burn. Uh, usually, there are like uh, the only downside for Siren of the Grave, you must have an extra card that you are willing to sacrifice. <clears throat> okay, and that's the thing. So, it's like almost like similar with the other playstyle, but you're not waiting for until turn 7 for an, uh, uh, a massive uh, board control. And FYI, on this variation, there's no ramp. And if we compare that to Yogmoth, Yogmoth version has a ramp, uh, ramp, ramp creature like the uh, Fanatic of Kun and Rune Asp. But for this one, there's no, there's no uh, ramp here. They have like a card, more on like card draw. Okay. And now, if we're gonna go for like how to counter, same same principle like how to counter the uh your op uh like the other variation like be aggressive try to kill your opponent uh try to kill the this deck within before he gets six mana before he get uh, he, before he cast the land of the dead as much as possible kill priesthood of takats or raving necromancer using your spells before do a creature trade or if you gotta have a creature trade trade first try to kill first the takat and raving necromancer to lessen the damage Use AOE because in if you know if you do an AOE damage, uh, all all of the creature will die in the same instance. So technically, uh, uh, the raving or priestess takat, uh, raving necromancer and priestess takat will not able to uh, uh, take their ability effect. There's there's no deals to damage extra. There's no damage extra because they all die at the same instances. Okay, so that's why uh, that's it. Another one is like uh, uh, removing Priest of Takat or Ravening Marrow from the Void. Uh, you can like use Umber Arrow or Exercise instead of putting that in the bo Void. Uh, obliterate the card. Probably that will be a good also. And also uh, uh, gain control of it. Kill it so it will go to your Void rather than opponent Void. So because if there is no Priest of Takat and Raving Necromancer, the Land of the Dead uh, will never deal a massive damage to you. Okay, because uh, technically, uh, Land of the Dead will rely on Priestess Takat and Raving Necromancer in the Void to deal more damage. And, and also, like, if you can manage to discard Land of the Dead or steal it uh, using the Cutthroat, that will be great. And next thing, oh, because this is variation similar with the Yogmoth, uh, it has, like, a, a Sleep. Uh, a Sleep Remover will be great, uh, like Region of Dawn, especially for the Light. Or other card that can remove uh, sleep. Okay, so this is like a, a a like a cheaper version of Anubian control, but instead of like having Demogorgon and Apocalypse, we can rely on Siren of the Grave. And this is like way more cheaper than the other variation of Yagmoth. And that's the main reason why. If Yagmoth, high chance there will be three percent in the in the next weekend rank meta because they are like total like three percent. Players who has Apocalypse and Demogorgon in their in their inventory, but uh, if you don't have, you can still have like play another variation. Now, uh, Nubian versus Anubian. In my experience, it depends whose player has lucky or uh, luck. Uh, who has like more Priestess Takat and Raving Necromancer, and who has like a Skull Scepter. Usually, the trade between the Anubian. Remember, if you're like Anubian versus Anubian, if I have Priestess Takat. If my opponent's Anubian dies, he will deal two damage to him. If my Anubian dies, it also deals two damage to him also. And vice versa. If he has more Takat and we did a Anubian trade, uh, the player with more Princess Takat or uh, Raving Necromancer in the board will deal more massive damage than the other player there. Okay? And that's why uh, I like the idea of sleep. So at least like before they can attack, sleep them and you can like do more damage there. Okay, so this is like the second variation. Kindly please continue watching for the uh, uh, like the playtest. I uh, not literally playtest like my match. Uh, I use this deck during the weekend rank, and it's been recorded. So kindly please watch 
watch it like how I played this uh, deck. Yeah, I'm switching with different net deck mode. Yeah, I I can like play that next turn uh Pong Pong Shai, yeah. I can play that one. I played that yesterday, similar deck. I just removed Good. on his version there's no Jason. Kill that this one next turn by this one. Or we can kill that one. <coughs> My turn. Let's absorb some damage. I think it's okay to absorb some damage. Yeah, Yagmoth. How many did he? Last time we checked, he's using 23 wins, right? 23 out of 23. Did he did 21, uh, 24, or 25? He did a perfect one, perfect run. What the fuck? 55. That's amazing. That's amazing. Perfect. What the fuck? We check his deck in... Oh, he's so lucky. He's lucky, man. Now we wait. We will do. Yeah, I can play that one next turn. <laughs> Let's make them suffer. Now. We're trying to protect the priestess. Yeah, I think he removed the. I have a Jason, he removed the Jason and add Ragna. Makes sense because sometimes Jason gave me nothing. Because of the meta now, it's more aggro rather than control versus control. I think that's what happened. <coughs> I can like play that one next uh, next game after this one. I'm playing the the sleep version. I can play this one. Oh, I cannot use this. No, this didn't work. I think also. Oh, I can like play this one. This three casting cost. I can like. Dagan for the first time. I've seen Dagan. Yeah, baby, this is nice. Oh, how many zombies we have? I like Anubian. We have one, two, three, four. Five, 
it will be difficult for us if he has like a wildfire. I don't know if we can do lethal next turn. What the fuck? He killed himself. Wow, 8-4, that's a nice win. Holy crap. Uh, do, double of this one literally do much damage the previous one the problem is the one we are attacking is zombie it heals him that's the problem ah uh. It's like trying to tell us like if we did not did the land of the dead he win. I think that's what like what he is trying to tell us. That if we did not play the land of the dead, we're like dead by using this one. <coughs> that's four damage or five damage. Yeah. Yeah, the zombie heals like uh I think that's maybe the main reason why I miscalculate. I miss lethal. Because I if I attack on the zombie, he will heal too. He will deal four, but he will still heal too. Like, not enough damage. Only difference between the sleep is like, be careful of the region of dawn. But it's also difficult. I always keep this one because it's hard to get.
Oh my god. Two of two of it. But let me. Uh, so at least I win. Card draw. So the, the only advantage of this thing has a card draw. Card draw mechanic. So that's the thing. I don't have like any more cards. Yeah, we're playing now the sleep version. We just finished the. We just finished playing the. At last. Sleep rapid kill. So we have the combo now. Uh, we, we we can sacrifice this one, or if we want to do an AOE, the thing we can have. Uh, at least we need this one to card low. Uh, I don't know if he has a region of dawn, but yeah. I wish we had a creature next turn. My turn. Uh, this is nice. Uh, that's the only thing. Uh, we have like a bad draw. This might be my first loss playing this deck. Okay, we have to do the board one. He might have like a... Uh, the sad part, this is not Anubian. I wish this is like Anubian, that would be OP. But it's a siren, it's like a mermaid. I might draw a card. I'll sacrifice this one. Play this one. Sacrifice this one. I really need to card draw. Yeah, so based on my experience playing this one, it's like a half of the board wipe deck. Half of the board wipe deck is like a uh, ramp, card draw, and sleep, right? That's the end canopy order to delay more game, like draw. So this is like half of the Anub uh, the board wipe deck. And then the other Anubian is with Demogorgon and Apocalypse. That's like the other part of the Anubian deck. We can play this one just like to do board control. Even though we only have like two. That's not, that's a nice play. Uh, the only sad part there we don't get. We can still do the same combo. We can like board control like this. Play this one with full. Crap! I misclick. Ah, I misclick. I just planning to just click the. Oh. 
That's a misclick. Ah, I misclicked that one. I'm planning to enable the empower, but I I I probably drag it too much. Oh no, uh, we cannot do the Nubian combo anymore. We need, really need to do a, a lot of card draw. My turn. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. We don't have like cards though here. He returned one of my. The thing is, if I play this one, I use this one. Like, to, to, uh, for example, I attack this one and use this one. I might not able to do the Ragnarok combo because I have to sacrifice one card in silent. That's like the downfall here. We need more card draw. And the problem is we only have like few cards in the So let's see if we flood the board we can like do this combo again. We can like ping. Should we draw or sacrifice this one? Sacrifice this one. Uh. <laughs> so if in the other deck. If that is Siren, if Siren is like a Demogorgon or we have like uh we need a next turn or use the mana just like to do a Demogorgon or Apocalypse. So that's the difference. But uh our draw is much more faster because we have like more card draw here in this deck rather than on the Yag and the other variation. Yeah. I accidentally clicked. Let's make them suffer. That's enough for now. So the thing is, we are in advantage because uh, usually they don't have blitz unless he play I don't know what kind of cards. They don't have blitz, right? So at least we can like do more damage. The problem is we never. Oh. Makes sense.
we might win. Yeah, we win. Now we wait. Malice consumes virtue. <coughs> we might we win. Yukos, what is Yukos? Uh, oh yeah, but nobody play Yukos. Uh, there's no light I've seen so far playing Yukos. They other they gonna prefer Region of Dawn rather than Yukos because Yukos. The problem with Yukos is only kills. I think it only damage their creature minus one minus one their creature and soul. I think that's Yukos, right? Uh, I, I will check uh, what's like the Yukos ability. I win. He already said GG. Unless he has like a. Yeah, I'm ready. Nope, it won't work. Yeah, we win. <coughs> we top deck this one. We're lucky we top deck this one. Yeah, we win. 3 0. I think Pega played this variation, so he must know this deck. He's on the top 20. Eh? Uh, war is dead. War is dead. That's my thought. Nobody, especially in Mythic Rank, nobody play war. It's dead. May the light smile upon you. I will play this one and then sacrifice because we have like land of the dead. Can I even kill that one? This might get over. Yeah, let's play this one and draw. Patience. So the good thing about this sleep variation is lots of draw. <coughs> so my next play is probably this one. So stop him from attacking us. Play this one first, that's what we're gonna do. Time, yeah. I'm uh, I think this will be my last game, guys. Bear with me with the sleep deck. Let's see. The hour is mine. Okay, good. We have this one.
Do we have a feature? The void is not empty. It has never been empty. Hey, click right. Oh, that's a nice top deck we got there so that's the only difference i like a little bit this one because of card draw the other one is ramp more on ramp the yagmoth one but less draw i will play this one heal Oh, he wants to draw a card. We will play this one and play buff that one. He has no more card. We don't have like Skull, Skeptor, that's why. Play this one. I think what's more important here are the raging versus aggro. I should like play. Like, I'm running out of time. Yeah, let's hold. I don't know. Uh, I I will not play. Hmm. One, two, three. That's only. Can heal that one. You will attack me. One. Ah, uh, that's an ugly girl. <clears throat> so the only drawback of like playing that one is like uh
This one is like keep on healing, but it's spending two mana. That's a good thing. The void is not empty. It has never been empty. Wow, that's a lot of draw. I have to kill that one. Dead hunger. Ah, it's a long game. Wow, this game, yeah. He either he had he had to attack me face. Yeah. Defiance will earn you nothing but chains. So now we're gonna look now who will gonna raid. Who are like are we gonna raid? Someone while waiting for this. Take me with on a uh, live stream. You want guys let me know who you gonna who you gonna raid. Hmm. Uh we can raid uh fake Mew or Yeah, it's exact six damage. Oh no, it's like five damage. Yeah, he died by that one. Yeah. So that's the sleep variation, like literally board control. But because you don't have like a ap apocalypse, you're just relying on card draw and sleep. One one turn sleep or two turn sleep. And the good thing about I like the, this variation is lots of card draw. The other one is has ramp. There's a distance between us. 